In this tutorial, we'll briefly talk about Spring support for uh, collection objects. Uh, so far, we've seen uh, how to define individual values for primitives as well as individual values for objects. Now, the question is, what if one of our uh, member variables here was actually a collection? Now, how would you initialize a collection? So Spring provides support for that. There are actually uh, three core interfaces uh, that Java provides. You have a list, set, and a map. All the three are uh, supported by Spring. We have a corresponding uh, tags that we can use in our XML. The list tag, the set tag, and the map tag. In this tutorial, we're going to quickly demonstrate the list tag. And then the map and the set are fairly straightforward as well. So you can uh, look at the syntax in the documentation. So what I'll do here is I'll um, change these properties. I actually reverted uh, all the changes in our previous tutorial. So right now, what we have is uh, a triangle bean with three uh, separate point beans. So a triangle has three points and each of those refer to a separate bean in the spring.xml. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a, a list. So instead of having three separate uh, member variables, I'll just have a private list of point objects. I'll call it points. We'll have to update the getters and setters. First, I'll import the list from java.util and I will generate the getters and setters. Okay, so in this case, I will have to update the draw method. So what I'll do is I will loop through this uh, list of points, even though I know there are three, I will loop through them and I'll print out all the points. So for each point, in points, I shall print out point dot get x and point dot get y. Okay, and I'll save this. So now I have a list member variable. Now when I'm using my spring.xml to initialize this triangle object, I need to mention this to be a list. So instead of having three different property tags, what I'll have is just one property tag. Let me remove this. I'll just have one property tag. Name equals, of course, the name of the member variable again, points. And the value, instead of specifying the value, I'll again close this outside and I will have a list tag here. So this is going to be a list. And then inside this list here, I'll be specifying all the individual elements of the list. So in this case, it happens to be three different point objects, which is 0 point, point 0.2 and point 0.3. So I will refer to them by using the ref tag bean equals zero point I'll close the tag and then similarly for point two and point three so this is how I initialize my list so normally what would happen is if this were a single uh, value we would have a property tag and then we would have either a value or a ref. But now since this is a list, what we need to do is we need to define a list tag and then add these references inside the list tag. So no matter how many references you add, it's going to be that many elements in this list. And so this uh, member variable, which is a list of points, is going to have that many elements. Now the thing here is that uh, we are using the type conversion of Spring. So here I have defined this as a list of points. So Spring is going to automatically convert the type depending on whatever you specify here. Now say you had a list of uh, a different 
data type here, say a list of integers. Now, if, if in your uh, list you had specified value tags and then you had all those values, it would automatically convert to integers and then you would still end up with a list of integers with the values that you've specified. So just make a note of that. There is type conversion that's happening here as well. So now let me save and run the class one more time. Well, there you go. The points have come up, but here what's happening is instead of three separate member variables, it's reading this off a list. So similarly, you can use set and map data types as well. They have the corresponding XML values that you can use in order to initialize these properties. Again, this is something that you would not normally use, especially if you have a huge list, you would probably get it out of a property file or you'd get it out of a database. But then if you need some small lists to be initialized, then this is the way to do it.